Here in Abu Dhabi, we're seeing a marvelous spatial data infrastructure, almost unique in the world. It's certainly leading the world in implementing all the kinds of geospatial information into an information system that supports open government and integrated government. This didn't just happen by chance. This took leadership, it took financial support, it took collaboration by all of the different entities within this organization. Uh, people working with other people, having a spirit of collaboration is very powerful. This infrastructure will provide a foundation for what I call the next generation of GIS applications, geodesign. Not simply observing geography, not simply measuring geography, not simply analyzing the assets or information that, that geography represents, you know, GIS, but designing the future, meaning designing new roads, designing new buildings, knowing where we locate based on the science and all of the information that have been put together in the GIS system. This is the next step. The way this will work is that we'll integrate the science and information side with the creative right brain design side. People will be able to sketch and evaluate quickly the consequences of different alternative designs. If we locate it here or here or here, what is the impact on traffic? What's the impact on environment? What's the impact on society? This iterative evaluation feedback loop is the next generation of GIS. And with respect to supporting technology, this is emerging and evolving very nicely. We're seeing the implementation of GIS services and distributed agencies serving into a common environment and dynamically being able to mash up this information so that we can do the design on the freshest or the latest information. The web, the web services, that is the new platform for GIS in the future. It will mean that we can connect browsers that citizens can access government through. It means that we can support mobile phones, not simply viewing geographic data in mobile phones, but also sending information back to uh, the enterprise information systems. This will connect citizens with government in new ways. This infrastructure will be able to support access by business 